Hey there! It's nice to have you, it's very nice to have you around here on this course. Uh, this, is co this, this, this course specifically is a challenge to me, as I'm going to explain to you. Uh, so far, I have launched uh, on Udemy two courses, all of them related to computational and mathematical bio bi models applied to biology and medicine, as I like to call it life science in general. On my first course, which was in Portuguese, I have talked about how to use mathematical models, but I didn't give any attention at all to the computational biology, to the programming part. So I'm going as well to invite all my students for my first and also for my second course. My second course was about how to innovate with biomathematics. So I essentially I talked about my second postdoc, I talked about how I believe we, we can innovate with mathematical models. Uh, so, on this course specifically, I'm planning to go a little bit deeper. I'm planning to go a little bit more. Uh, I, 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 I tend to concentrate more on, more on the programming part. So, I expect my audience on this course to be a little bit more narrowed since I'm here and I'm, I'm, I'm just talking to people that work with uh, mathematical models and want to apply that uh, using programming uh, or to biology medicine or as I like to call it life science in general. I'm going to give you all the detail on this first part. Uh, as I'm going to explain, uh, this course is a challenge to me for mainly two reasons. The first reason this course is a challenge for me is because I have never worked with Octavia before. So you may ask him, you may ask yourself, why are you, are you giving a course on a software that you don't know? I met this uh, the software recently as I was giving a private uh, private lessons on, on, on medical methods. Uh, should you need any help on programming, numerical methods, and so on, just let me know. That I'm, I give I'm, at, at, at this moment, I'm giving as well private lessons. So essentially, uh, the student needs to use Octave. So I thought to myself, well, now it comes extra work. Uh, however, I was extremely surprised how close uh, Octave is from uh, MATLAB. So they are extremely close. So I, I even could use uh, the documentation of, the, of MATLAB. So the, docu the documentation is essentially the same. Of course, you, um, since there are two different software and the Octave is, is built uh, by people like me, like you, it's a GNU license software. It means that it's like Linux is built by, I would say, normal people, like uh, people that has the ability to program it but they do that as a kind of a volunteer work for free. It's a GNU license, it means that it's a kind of public domain. So there is a lag between a function MATLAB and a function Octave. So essentially I recently tried to use some functions on MATLAB that they didn't have in Octave. So you have a kind of message that they give you. Uh, we don't have this function yet, but if you want to help us implement this function, you can do it. So it's a kind of a crowned effort, like everyone trying to help. MATLAB is amazing. I have used MATLAB for years. And uh, now, as I'm going to explain to you, I was planning to create this course using MATLAB. But uh, as I was, then come to me this insight because uh, one of the biggest uh, complaints I heard on, on the course that I gave was about MATLAB being paid. Uh, recently, I gave a course on a scientific event and someone asked me, can I use Octave? Uh, I said, yes, you can, because I heard a lot that Octave was extremely close to MATLAB. But to be honest, I have never myself done that. MATLAB, uh, Octave is not the only option. You have as well Scilab. Scilab is extremely close as well to MATLAB. I, maybe I can, maybe in the future, create a course use Scilab as well, so you can decide whether um, Octave or Scilab is the best, best option for you uh, for replace MATLAB. I don't think that MATLAB is replaceable because it's a paid software, it has money to make research, it has a very strong community. You can go to the, there is a forum on the, on the website of MATLAB 
that can make questions. So uh, the suggestion I gave to my student of my private lesson, the suggestion I'm going to give you all over this course, I'm going to do that and explain you how to do that, is to use the documentation of MATLAB. The documentation is extremely close and I have to confess that the documentation of Octave is not the best. So I strongly recommend that you adapt to the user documentation of MATLAB and adapt to whatever you need to adapt. But you, I'm going to teach during the course that you have in our day, uh, the internet now is quite powerful. Uh, you have a stack of a flow, which is a form that I like to use. And you can ask anything you want there, even question about Octave. I, I have found some uh, question about Octave on stack of a flow. I'm going to teach you during this course how to use the internet in order to study. Uh, I believe that nowadays you don't have anymore to know everything about programming. I have learned that recently that uh, you have a YouTube, you have a several forums online like Stack Overflow to answer your questions. So just keep in mind that programming is something that you don't, you don't need to know everything. So don't feel, don't feel intimidated, don't feel like uh, stupid if you don't know how to use a function. Just send, just put in Google. Should you find a problem in your code? Just put it on Google. Uh, Google are going to send you a considerable amount of, of sites that already know this problem. So most likely they're going to give you like a stack overflow. I have noticed pattern because a very rich website that I'm planning to use and plan to teach you as well how to find, how to debug, how to find problem if you're coding. So, uh, initially, this course is supposed to be called Introduction to MATLAB for Medical Doctors and Biology. I have just decided to replace, just, I just replaced uh, MATLAB to Octave. Uh, so, this, as this course was, or, originally it was created as a live course uh, to a group called Thursday Morning Science. Uh, I hope that I'm going to make the divulgation then, I hope that they will as well be here. That could be a nice option for you to have a free software. This, uh, this course was a challenge for me, as I mentioned previously, because I have never used Octave before. So I have decided to launch this challenge. So I'm, I, 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 I will go learn with you all over the course. Uh, so by the end of this course, I hope at least to have a course for you. And maybe I, I as well have convinced myself and convinced you that Octave can be an option. But I have to be honest, I don't know. I, 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 I'm planning to build the course as I learn. The, I'm, I'm planning to, uh, uh, let's say, build every mode of the course and adapt my codes that was initially thought to be on MATLAB. Now I'm going to adapt to Octave and present you as a course. So. I hope that in the whole scenario, I'm going to, to finish this like I don't like Octave, but at least I have a course for you. And maybe somebody else may arrive to a different conclusion because uh, by, no, by no means I won't tell you that Octave is better than MATLAB. Uh, like he, for me, when you say that, that Linux is better than, uh, than Windows, I heard that a lot. I think that you are thinking from your perspective. Because from a general perspective, I don't think that Linux is better. So, uh, so that is very rare to find someone who uses Linux. I have uh, blogs, I have uh, YouTube channels, and uh, most of the website you can, you can see uh, information from your users. You can see from which browser they are accessing your website, from which operational system they are accessing your website. In Linux, it's very rare to find someone to access your website. So, People that like uh, love uh, free software, they have the tendency to think that they, th this is the only solution, and this is the best solution. Maybe the best solution for who, who is a computer scientist. You should keep in mind that as, as I said on my first course about uh, innovating in biomathematics, when you innovate in biomathematics, you should think about that who is going to use your software. Maybe the person that is, is going to use your software in the, the audience, I expect to follow this course they are computer scientists, they are not computer scientists, they are uh, biologists, they are medical doctors. So for them to use a software that is not so friendly, uh, maybe Octave is this case, I don't know, by the end of this course, 
I'm going to give you an answer, my opinion about Octave for medical doctor. My, but more important than that, you should let me know uh, what you think about that. Your opinion, if you are a medical doctor, if you are a biologist, please let me know your opinion. If you think that Octave is friendly enough for you. As I have heard a, a question, I, as I give my last talk to the third morning science, uh, one of the organizers of the talk asked me, as a matter of fact, he gave me his opinion, his opinion is completely right. Uh, user friendly is not about me, it's about you. So I cannot tell you that the Octave is the best for you. Uh, let me know how hard it is for you, not how hard it is for me. So I expect to learn as, as it goes. So I, this course for me, it's a learning experience. So as a, as I keep learning, I expect to, to learn together with you. So even though Octave is mirrored on MATLAB, it may have a lag and uh, a lag between a function in MATLAB that will eventually appear in Octave. Uh, but by no means I'm saying that it's a, it's a replacement. I don't think that, Mat that Octave is a replacement and it doesn't matter. And I'm not hoping to change my mind by the end of this course. I just think that there is a, as I'm going to show in the next table, that there is a set of advantages and disadvantages that you should put on the table uh, when you decide whether you want to use Octave or you want to use MATLAB or Scilab, as maybe I can create another course about Scilab. So, uh, why Octave? First of all, Octave I found recently as I was giving private lessons, so it was like I'm just just I was tempted to make to create a tutorial on Octave as a replacement to MATLAB, and the biggest event that it's free. I don't think that he, so it's a kind of a dichotomy because one side MATLAB is paid, so that's why it's wonderful because you have a huge team to make research, to create forum, to give you assistance. On the other hand, it is paid, so maybe the biggest advantage of Octave is that it's free. I don't think that, uh, I believe that would be enough for, for me to justify this course. But, uh, but since my course is mathematical oriented, uh, and, and the octave is mathematical oriented, uh, compared to maybe you, uh, maybe you want to program in, uh, in Java as I like, maybe you want to program in C++ as I like it. But uh, I have used uh, Java for a very long period of time, but during my postdoc, uh, sorry, during my PhD, I, I gave up and started to use uh, MATLAB. Not because I don't like uh, Java, I, I still think that Java is very powerful, but you have to say that MATLAB was created specifically for uh, mathematics. So it's like a software specifically created for simulation. So uh, in MATLAB you have uh, several toolbox, you have several package, you have several uh, function that was created specifically for for computer simulations. Uh, specifically, they have even for biology, such as you have SimBiology that belongs to MATLAB. You have Simulink that's not specifically for biology, but uh, it can be used to make modeling. So MATLAB is a software that's created specifically for computer simulations. So I don't think that I would be, ever be able to use Java to replace MATLAB because there's a huge team uh, feed in MATLAB to be the best software for computer simulations. And uh, so, even, uh, so as, a, as, a, as, a, as a free option, if you like MATLAB or if you want to use MATLAB, you can use Octave. So for those of you that is starting, that, 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 that does not know MATLAB, maybe you can start off Octave. Uh, the transition, I believe the transition to MATLAB will be much easier than the opposite because you, 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 you may think like this, suppose someone, is, is, uh, ha someone has never traveled uh, using first class. You never use first class of a, of, of a plane. So for you, just the fact to, to be in a plane is already wonderful. So for you, it doesn't matter how cheap is your, is your flight, you'll be like, yeah, that's amazing, I'm flying, like yeah, I have a plane, someone is serving food on the plane. But suppose that you use first class for a long period of time, but suddenly for due to financial difficulties, you need to fly now with a cheap flight. I think that will be awful for you because you know, you tasted how, how good it is to be on first class, how wonderful it is to be to have like a huge seat, uh, someone serving you. I, I had the pleasure one time to travel in, in first class, I lost my flight, so the only flight that I had to come back to Italy at the time I was in, in England. The only flight I had was first class. 
Uh, so I took it. It was quite expensive, but I took it. I had to tell you, man, that's a wonderful first class. They give you wet, uh, hot to uh, tower. They give you a huge, uh, like a huge seat. Fortunately, it was just one time. I still can fly with cheap flight. But imagine if you do it for a very long, very period, very period of time. So MATLAB, I have to confess that he, it's, a, it's a first class flight. I don't, I, I don't want to disencourage you to use Octave. I just, I, I'm just being honest with you. Another thing, since, uh, since this is a course focused on mathematical modeling, computational biology applied to biology and medicine, as a life science in general, uh, I don't think that the focus here is on this course is MATLAB. So since the focus is, not, I'm not giving a course on MATLAB. I'm giving you a, um, the main idea of this course is to teach how uh, life scientists can use mathematical and computational models to study uh, biological system. So since the focus is not MATLAB, I think that Octave is an option for this course. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. It just came to me right now, I mean recently. Maybe in the past I was afraid because I was afraid that Octave would give me a headache, but now I feel that I'm ready to use Octave I feel that I'm ready to give you as well uh, kind of, uh, an opportunity to, to, to share with me this possibility of using Octave as an alternative and a very rich alternative to MATLAB. So here we go some kind of a table that I built like here very fast, so you may find the others or a, other advantages events when you compare. But for me, as I gave a kind of a very fast thought, like I put in the table, like uh, first of all, uh, the biggest event of MATLAB the documentation is very rich. They have a very rich documentation. That I mean, the documentation of MATLAB is amazing. I have to confess. However, the documentation of Octave, I mean, I tried to use it, it's pretty bad. I have to say, uh, but uh, the good news is that you can use, I did that, and I'm doing that as well, I'm planning to do that on this course as well, just go to, just go to the documentation of MATLAB and try to run in Octave, sometimes they're going to tell you, this function is not yet implemented, I just find another option, I mean, I did that, it works, uh, maybe uh, uh, you have just to use uh, an older version of MATLAB, because since Octave is a mirror trying to share the MATLAB, uh, MATLAB is always update, like every six months you have a new app, a new version of MATLAB. So if you go to an old version of MATLAB, maybe the community of Octave was able to, as well to catch up. So they already implemented the function that you are trying to use. So uh, another good news of MATLAB, of MATLAB that is constantly updated. So uh, they always create new ways of making your life easier. Uh, the good news uh, of Octave is Octave, Octave is always shared in MATLAB, it's always behind MATLAB. So, as I, as, I, as I told you in the beginning of, the, of this video, of this, of this section, uh, as I was trying to make this kind of a, use the documentation of MATLAB to solve a problem, uh, they give you a function uh, like this, something like this. Uh, this function is not yet ready here, so maybe you want to implement this function for us, because the idea that people should use Octave as well, give back, like implement the function if you have the, the, the programming ability. Another advantage of MATLAB that's quite friendly. Uh, you have several ways to make your life easier. I love the toolbox of MATLAB. Yeah. The toolbox such as the toolbox of artificial neural network, the toolbox of the parameter fitting, the toolbox of the optimization. They are extremely friendly because you, have, you can use like uh, the coding. If you like code, you can do code. If you like, like a uh, user interface, a graphical user interface, you can use a graph user interface. They have all these options that you can use uh, to parameterize your model. So I believe that's quite easy to use. Uh, Octave is not so friendly, I have to confess, but still user friendly if you're trying to compare it. For example, if you do your, all your, 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 in my opinion, if you do all your programming using, uh, say, using say uh, say like uh, Java or C++, that's how I see it. Uh, as a, uh, another thing about uh, use the opportunity that uh, for me not to forget, uh, as I said, MATLAB is, uh, is paid. So on my, on my second course, I talked about uh, uh, innovation with biomethetics. There is a part of the course 
that uh, I, I talked about on, my, on that course that I talked about the fact that you can use a uh, uh, user-friendly interface using web application as I did and you can use a backend, use a free software maybe if you want to make this kind of methodology I, I propose to you you can instead of use MATLAB you can use Octave because Octave is free so you can, uh, you can, make, you can do the kind of uh, uh, coupling as I did on my second postdoc using Galax which is a free software but instead of uh, maybe instead of MATLAB you can use Octave so what I'm trying to say here I'm, maybe I, can, I will create a bonus lecture specifically about that is that Octave can be a replacement to MATLAB when you need a free software now, now another point here is that uh, it is a, a, a fourth generation programming uh, people nowadays it's not like I'm not sure if it's like he accepted by everyone but uh, people because uh, when you say that MATLAB is a programming language some people get angry I have seen that in my own experience don't, people don't like that you say MATLAB is a programming language but for me MATLAB is a programming language so some people use the word the fourth generation programming language just to not to make a mess because when you compare Java with MATLAB, C++ with MATLAB uh, MATLAB has behind it uh, other languages such as Java is behind MATLAB C++ is behind MATLAB so, uh, so you may say that since MATLAB is built on the top of those languages you may say that it's a fourth, it's a fourth, fourth generation of the programming language like it's one, it goes one step uh, one step of the, if, you, if you make a pyramid uh, you can see that in the, in the bottom you have MATLAB you have in, in, the, in the top you have MATLAB but to build MATLAB you need other languages such as Python and C++ and Java and so on so and the Octave is as well behind Octave you have as well the same more or less the same, the same, the same process Another point that that it has MATLAB has several toolbox and package that can make life quite easy. That was one of the reason why I gave up Java during my PhD and start to use Octave. Oh, sorry, start to use MATLAB and now I'm trying to make the migration to Octave and uh, doing this course for you. So packages I know uh, toolbox I have no uh, package uh, I have uh, so some package that I know it's on Octave. Uh, in toolbox I have to double check as, as I create this cross I'm going to double check for you but I believe that most like toolbox in, in Octave will not be as, as nice as you know, in MATLAB as I, tell, as I told the story of the, of the first class flight if you, the first class flight if you go for the first time when you go to a cheap flight you'll be like here that could be easier that could be easier but uh, you have to see that MATLAB is all that Octave is free since it's free, I believe that he, there is always a price to pay, a trade-off. So I could justify all this video, just say MATLAB, just say Octave is free. That could be the end of this of this of this lecture. But uh, but I decided to give you a little bit more of argumentation. So if it's not enough that that Octave is free for you, maybe one of these argumentations I present to you will be enough. Anyway. Just to close this, this part, they, uh, they, are this, uh, they are essentially mostly the same software. Uh, sorry, they, uh, sorry, that's supposed to be. They are not the same software. She does a mistake. They are not the same software, but Octave is shared in MATLAB. It's mirror in MATLAB, and, and uh, built by normal people like he, like us, like me, like you, using the GNU license, which is a it's one of the, the it's the same license of the, of the Linux and the a considerable amount of free software so that could be a very nice option for those of you that like GNU license and those of you that for some reason cannot use MATLAB I, had, I have circumstances that uh, I have situations in my life that uh, I didn't have time to install MATLAB and MATLAB is not so easy to install in some circumstances especially if I use a, a correct version I have to confess that a lot of people that I, I believe I didn't met anyone that used a paid version of MATLAB most of the people they find a kind of that illegal version this illegal version you have to do some kind of tricks to install sometimes it can be hard to do this trick sometimes it does not work because since you are not using the official version you do not have the MATLAB, MATLAB team support 
So maybe in some circumstances you just stalk Dave, that solve your problem. So since this, since I, as, I, as, I, as I told you, I'm planning to build this course as I learn, as I do the adaptation of the code that I was initially planning to do in MATLAB, um, and, uh, I'm going to present the, the initial idea of this course. Uh, I don't, I, I not expect to change too much this, this layout because I'm, I have already planned this course in MATLAB. The only modification I'm doing that instead of use MATLAB, I'm going to use Octave. So the idea that I'm going to do a crash course on programming because I want this course to be used as well by medical doctor in biology. So most of them most likely have never programmed before. I remember when I gave it this, uh, the, the, the first version of this course was MATLAB was given to medical doctor in biology. So maybe I can add in the bonus, the statistic that I collected using Google form. And the, uh, the, but you can find a link. I'm going to send you a link on the course is already available on YouTube for quite a while. The only problem that since the course was recorded uh, live, the sound is not very good. Some several people gave me dislike. I believe they gave me dislike because the sound is horrible because the course was not to be. I just post on YouTube just for documentation. But on the day when I did the survey, if people had participated from the course, the, the the score of the course was quite high. I can show you the data. Uh, yeah, collect so uh, but but you can go there and see uh, because the sound is bad but the screen was recorded so you can see there is a part of the course that I, I did a kind of question for people uh, like anonymous questions and somebody asked me what's a matrix MATLAB is built on matrix but for us that are from applied mathematics matrix is quite obvious but for a medical doctor and for biologists it's not obvious what is a matrix so i decided to include on this course as well a crash course a crash course on computer programming because i do not expect a medical doctor or biologist to know precisely what is a map, what is a computer computer programming so I, I, at least i believe I, I wanted to know the basics so a crash course in active as well uh, I'm not going to give you all the details about Octave. I'm going to give you a uh, very crash course and you are going to learn during the course how to use Octave. And you can always learn after the course by yourself. I, since I, I, I'm not an expert even in MATLAB. MATLAB is very rich. I do not know everything about MATLAB. So I don't think that since uh, Octave is, is mirroring, is shadowing of uh, MATLAB, I don't think that it, I, I that you I'll be able to learn everything about Octave and uh, that's not my objective I, that is never my objective to learn everything about ev something I always trying to learn what I need to learn and life goes on so the model one is supposed to be free but I don't know if it will be able to make it free because in Udemy in Udemy uh, you have a uh, limit of two hours if your course is bigger than two hours uh, then you have to make the course pay. That's a rule that they have. So I don't know if I'll be able to make it, this course at uh, this first model. I'm, I'm planning to make several models. Uh, this first one supposed to be free. It's supposed to be just about an active. So if you are interested, you go to the you pay the upcoming course that will be more specific about the, about computer programming, the computational biology models applied to life scientists, to life science. So I don't know if you'll be able to make it free, but I'll do my best. Uh, so my hypothesis, hypothesis that I have here is that uh, Octave can be a replacement to MATLAB on the application of mathematical model and computational met methods to uh, biological systems. That's what I'm thinking that I'm going to prove by the end of this course, but I don't know if I'll be able to prove this hypothesis. Then you let me know if I, will, if I was able to convince you or not. But, by, but anyway, I'm going to give my opinion by the end of the course. So uh, since this course is a challenge for me, as I said previously, uh, so the question is how can, how can I expect by the end of this course? Uh, so I expect to have a better idea about Octave as a replacement to MATLAB. As I said, I'm going to learn as well if you during this course. I expect to have a course that can, at least in the old scenario, it can be a starting point for new student on Octave. So even if I do not convince myself that Octave is a replacement to my lab, I can at least try to convince somebody else and you can, by the end of the course, arrive to your own conclusion. So I expect that to learn about Octave. Uh, 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 what can you expect by the end of this course? So I expect that you learn the basic of Octave. Uh, you can decide by yourself whether Octave is the best for you. I don't know, because as I said before, 
everything depends of, of your circumstance. Maybe you are, you are building a kind of a online system, as I proposed in my first course, Innovating Biomathematics. Maybe you want to innovate in Biomathematics, but you want to have something that's free. The only problem that you may have if you obtain uh, is because the license of Octave is GNU license. Uh, the GNU license is a, is a license that, he, that he, uh, it a very, it, it's completely free, but it, it forces you to make uh, your software free as well. Because when you use the, uh, the MIT license, which is free as well, the MIT license gives you the freedom to keep it. Uh, they give you the freedom to make your, your, your software that you create because on my first course about innovative biomathematics I have, a, I have, a, I have talked about a, how to innovate biomathematics uh, but the one problem that you may face when trying to innovate biomathematics is because you maybe you want to make your, your, your system paid maybe you want to innovate but you want to get money for that uh, in my case, I have used a considerable amount of package. All of them use MIT license. The MIT license gives you the freedom to, to decide whether you are going to make your course free or you make your software, your, your, your package, your computer code uh, free or not. Because when you build software, you have the, nowadays what you do is to build software on the top of all the software. So use a package of somebody else that you don't know, you never met your life. Uh, you can do that a lot nowadays. So if someone gives you an MIT license, you can do whatever you want. You can even make your software free or paid. But the GNU license has a restrictive license, since that you have to do, you are obligated to do your software as well, GNU. So GNU is a kind of contagious license. You, should, you, you, may, you must, you cannot like here, use a GNU, a GNU license, then make your software MIT. I, don't, I mean, I have to double check that, but I think they cannot do that. At least I have to check, but I'm almost sure that the GNU license does not allow you to make your soft paid. Uh, you cannot get a GNU and then make your soft paid. Uh, so that can be a problem. So you can pay, have to pay attention to your, uh, your, 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 your circumstance. And finally, the last point that I believe you can expect from this course is that you learn about the basic. That the, the main objective of this course is not to teach you a table MATLAB, to teach you mathematical models, computational models applied to life, to biological system which is life science in general. So the, the, the target of this, of this, of this, of this course, uh, as I said before, I, I expect uh, computer, sci uh, computer scientists may be interested on, on, uh, on, on, on learn about biomathematics and learn about computational biology because they have all the they have all the expertise, they have all the knowledge, they have all the brain to make better software, better ways. I, there is a, my first course, I talked about that. I talked about innovative biomathematics. So if you are interested, maybe that can be option for you. Uh, I expect uh, medical doctors, biologists, I like to call life scientists in general, uh, but I don't know if you, if you are going to feel offended by calling you life scientists. Uh, but uh, let's call life scientists. So I expect life scientists because maybe they are interested in computer models. Uh, on my last talk I, that I gave, there were, I mean, more, almost uh, 200 people. The majority of them were medical doctors and biologists. And, this, and the first version of this course, which was MATLAB, I had a room that was like 30 people. Imagine 30 people in a room, uh, all of them medical doctors and biologists. That was a very nice experience and it showed that there is uh, demand for that. There are medical doctors that want to learn about computer models. And the, there is a, a area called evidence-based medicine that the, essentially, in my opinion, it's like models. You use model, computer models and so on. There is another area called as well uh, si uh, simulation-based medicine. All of them are using models and computer models. So I expect as well maybe mathematicians, uh, maybe mathematicians that uh, mathematicians that want to to learn more about how to apply their models using computer simulations, and uh, I expect as well maybe people that uh, just want to learn new era. I, I always like to keep my course as open as possible, and I never like to close it. I, I when I uh, when I talk about target public. I just want to maybe to, 
to let you make you feel comfortable but uh, my course in general I always like to think that anyone can follow it I always like to think that uh, even uh, someone that from history someone from from psychology someone from uh, geography doesn't matter I like to think that my course is open to everyone but anyway uh, I have to say as well that it's not always possible so I have to keep focused so my focus are on, 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 on these four uh, on this four public, on this four target public, and always has been the focus of my course so far. Um, life scientist, computer scientist, biomathematician, uh, biomathematician. Uh, so that's it. Okay, it's not four, it's three, like many public. Uh, com life scientist, computer scientist, and biomathematician. So, and can be as well, anyway, let's say, let's keep it three, and uh, maybe you as well will we identify if any of these three target public. So that's it, I'll close here. I wish you a wonderful course. I always do my best in this course. So I hope that uh, we are going to learn together on this course, I tell you this course is a challenge for me. So let's hope that we are going to learn together on this course. Did you like the content of this channel? So, please subscribe to the channel. It's quite simple. You just have to hit subscribe and you, have to, you can decide which level of the notification you want. You may choose all the notifications, which means that everything that I do, you receive a notification on your, on your bell here, on the upper corner, or you can choose no notification. I would strongly recommend you to subscribe, even if you don't want to receive all the notifications. Just hit here, no notification or hit the one that you like the most. It's pretty important that you subscribe to the channel so I, ha I can achieve a high number, of, a high number of subscribers and people can as well understand that this channel has a nice content to offer and YouTube will understand as well that it can make a nice divulgation of the channel. So please subscribe to the channel.